Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to find the force between two current carrying wires that are a very short distance uh, apart, about two centimeters apart. Notice that the first wire carries a current of five amps in upward direction, the second wire carries a current of eight amps in upward direction, and we're trying to find the force between those two conductors. Only, not only the magnitude, but the direction of the force as well. Now you may ask yourself, why in the world would two wires that carry current parallel to each other in the same direction have a force on one another or cause a force to exist between them? Well, the reason is because the first wire carries a current in this direction, which means there will be a magnetic field situated around this wire. And of course, if you take your right hand, put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers will curl in the direction of the magnetic field. So with a, let's say, with a orange color, I'm going to indicate the magnetic field for wire number one. So to the right of the wire will be into the board, so let's go ahead and draw little crosses like that, which indicates that the B field is into the board to the right of that wire. And to the left of the wire, will be coming out of the board, so that means we need little dots there to indicate that to the left of the wire that the magnetic field is coming out of the board. That's due to the, magnet, the current in the first wire right there. Now notice, that causes the second wire to be inside the magnetic field caused by the first wire. And therefore, that one will experience a force. In what direction? Well, take your right hand, put your fingers in the direction of the current, curl your fingers in the direction of the B field, which is into the board, which means it, that wire is going to feel a force to the left caused by the B field on the first wire. So there's going to be a force in this direction. And we can say that is the force onto caused by wire number one. What will be the magnitude of the force? Well, we know that the magnitude, so let's call that F on two. So the force on two is going to be equal to I, the current in wire number two, times the B field caused by wire number one, times the length exposed to that. Now let's say that the total length of the wire here, let's say that length is equal to four meters, just to put a number on it, okay? So what is the total force on wire number two caused by the B field of wire number one and the length between them and where they're, where they're experiencing each other's forces is four meters long. So in this case, that would be equal to, well, the current for wire number two, that's eight amps. But what is the B field caused by wire number one? Well, therefore, we need the equation that tells us what the B field is at this location due to this wire. And to find out, we need this equation right here, the B field is equal to mu sub naught divided by 2 pi times the current divided by the distance to that. So in this case, the B field caused by wire number one would be caused by current number one, so that's equal to mu sub naught divided by 2 pi, which is 2 times 10 to the minus 7, times I1, I1 is 5 amps, and the distance between them would be 0 0.02 meters. Okay, so that would be B field caused by wire number one. Here's my calculator. So we have 2 e to the 7 minus times 5 divided by 0 0.02 equals, and that's 5 times 10 to the minus 5 newtons. Oh, sorry, not newtons, 5 times 10 to the minus 5, that would be teslas, because it's B field, which is what goes in here, 5 times 10 to the minus 5, and the total of 4 meters exposed to that, so that would be equal to, my answer, times 8 times 4, that's times 32, and that would be 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 newtons. So now we've established the force on the second wire caused by the B field interacting with the current on the second wire and the B field is caused by the first wire. Wow, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Now, let's find the force on the first wire. Well, to do that, we have to establish the magnetic field in this location caused by this wire and let me use a different color for that. So, again, right hand rule, put my thumb in the direction of the current. Notice that on this side, the B field will be coming out of the loop and on the right side, the B field will be going into the loop. So this would be the B field caused by wire number two into the board. And then on this side, it will be coming out, out of the board. 
like so. So everywhere to the left, the B field will be coming out. To the right, the B field going in. So notice that the second wire experiencing, experiences a force because there's a current going through a region where there's a magnetic field caused by this other wire. Again, using the right hand rule, take your fingers, point them in the direction of the current, then curl your fingers in the direction of the B field so you have to turn your hand around. B field is this way, force is in this direction. So it means that there's a force from left to right on the first wire caused by the B field on the second wire. So let's call that F on one. To determine that force, that's my pen, determine that force, F on one, that is equal to the current in one times the B field caused by the second wire times the length to which that B field is exposed or that current is exposed to that B field. So it'll be the same length, four meters. So now we need to find the B field caused by the second wire. So we use the same equation. B field caused by the second wire is equal to mu sub naught divided by two pi times the current in the second wire divided by the distance. So this would be equal to two times 10 to the minus seven times the current, which is eight, because there's eight amps in the second wire divided by the radius, because mu sub naught divided by two pi, that's equal to this number right here, and R would be 0 0.02, which means that would be 5 divided by 5 times 8 equals, so that would be 8 times 10 to the minus 5. 8 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. And then coming into the equation here, we get I1, which is 5 amps, times the B field, which is 8 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas, times the length, which is 4 meters. And sure enough, that's 20, let's see, 8, 4, and 5, 8, 4, 5. Strange enough, that's exactly the same numbers we got before. Notice that the force on the second wire caused by the magnetic field on the first wire is exactly the same as the force on the first wire caused by the magnetic field on the second wire, and that will always be the case. The only difference is when they're parallel to each other, the currents, when the currents are directed in the, in the same direction, parallel and in the same direction, then the force will be towards one another. So there'll be a force of attraction between those two wires that will be pulled together, a force of 1.6 times 10 to the minus three newtons over a four newton stretch. If you divide that by four, then you could say, because this is uh, four meters, so if you divide this by four, you get 0 0.4 times 10 to the minus three newtons for every meter of, of uh, wire when they run side by side a distance of two centimeters like that. And that's how you find the force between two current carrying wires that are parallel to each other. And it's caused by the mutual B fields under which they're experiencing. Number, line number one is experience the B field of the second wire. The second wire is experience the B field of the first wire. And that's how you do that.